now next one question is from the 11th one which is ethyl chloride ethyl chloride to propanoic acid to propanoic acid so let's draw the structure first so this is ethyl chloride this has to give propanoic acid which is CH3, CH2, COOH. Now, there is a change in the entire thing. So here, what is the change that you see? Here you have only two carbon chain, but here you have a three carbon chain. Here, the functional group is a halogen and here the functional group is a carboxylic group. So, first what we will do is, we will change halogen to another functional group with carbon in it. So for that we have learnt a very simple equation CH3 CH2Cl which will give with KCN this here the nucleophile is CN minus so that will replace the halogen so you get a CN over here. Now from CN that you got an extra carbon here it needs to get converted to a carboxylic group and this can be done by a very simple acid hydrolysis process and then you get CH3 ch 2 C O O H. So here are two things. One is the functional group is different. The second thing is the uh, what do you say that there's an extra carbon in the compound. Alright.